Hey, what's going on, everybody? I have a question. We have the Federal Reserve printing all this money, $85 billion a month. But we don't see that huge inflation that we should expect to see from such printing. Massive amounts of printing. And it's not just the United States. It's Europe and Japan and every other places, right? The, any central bank right now is on uh, print mode and all this currency is flooding into the global money supply and we're slowly we see inflation like food prices are up you know gas prices were up it's a little down right now but um, you know w what gives in terms of uh, not seeing the high inflation that we should expect to see so I found a couple of video uh, segments in Mike Maloney's uh, Hidden Secrets of Money. So I'm going to show you a little clip on uh, the first one. Hold on. All right. It's black, blacked out here right now. But this is the part where Edward Griffin talks about why we don't see the inflation yet. So I'm going to play a little clip here. <laughs> It is sometimes amazing that we haven't experienced more inflation than we have. If they keep expanding the money supply so vastly, why aren't our prices growing faster than they really are? And the answer is that a good chunk of the money that the Fed created has been shipped overseas. Uh, I remember early in my research, I heard this expression that the Americans have exported their inflation. I thought, what is that? How can you export your inflation? Put it in a box and send it out? What do you do? Well, now I understand. You export your inflation by simply sending all these dollars that you created to these other countries, and then they send you their refrigerators and their cars and whatever, their TV sets. So you get hardware, and they get little pieces of paper. It's a great deal for the American people for a while. For a while. Sooner or later, all of those pigeons come home to roost. When the time comes, as it looks like it's now coming, when the rest of the world is saying, uh-uh, we don't want to play this game anymore. Uncle Sam's dollars are just becoming worthless. There are too many of them. We've got to find something else other than American dollars. Then those dollars start to come back to America. People say, we don't want them anymore. What do we do with them? Once this revs up and we've got this, uh, this little trickle of money coming back that we previously exported, when, once it becomes a flood, and it starts to rush back, now we are getting our former exported inflation brought back to us, and then we'll see the quantity of money inside the United States grow much more rapidly, even than the Federal Reserve can create it, because we're getting a previous money back. And uh, that's when we will really see the tanking of the U.S. dollar in terms of what it will buy. All right, so now we just saw Edward Griffin explain how the inflation that we should see here we don't see it yet because we have shipped it across to other countries but he warns that eventually this uh, inflation all this money that we printed is going to come back to the United States now if you ask how are they really doing this um, in this video this is number four of Mike Maloney's video he shows you the US Treasury here the banks here and the Federal Reserve here. Now what they do is um, the the banks in the middle here are pretty much global so when the uh, Treasury issues bonds and uh, the Federal Reserve buys them you know they could they could sell it back um, they can give cash back to the banks here which pretty much exists everywhere in the world you know you got your JP Morgans and Citibanks and whatever other bank out there Deutsche Bank they all exist and they're getting all this free money and uh, that's why we don't see any of this money exchange you know all this money exchange with the bonds and the Fed and all this it's not getting into the public at least not yet um, what's happening is they're basically just shuffling all this stuff back and forth to them and collecting interest and what have you and these Federal Reserve bankers the owners here are 
making interest off of all this uh, transactions here and the bankers here are also making money this is all phony money anyway and the US Treasury is pretty much a slave to this system here they really have no power no say because if they uh, cry foul they're not gonna get that money so when all this like sham scam stuff going on here starts to you know uh, break down well by then I don't think silver is gonna be twenty dollars and I don't think gold is gonna be twelve hundred thirteen dollars it's gonna go up a lot higher than and the time horizon is probably going to be in the next three four years 2016 2017 I read an article somewhere about the Russians talking about how the dollar is uh, you know a real real big risk and they don't want people you know holding dollars anymore and they they also projects around 2016 or 17 that the dollar is going to collapse all right so this is the uh, uh, video uh, segments I wanted to just put together for you guys and just uh, kind of uh, portray my thoughts in, in in regards to inflation and why we don't have it yet thanks for watching